little fingers in the air All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, I don't really know what my, my best angle is. I'm really not, I don't do this often. So, I don't know. Yeah, this one's not so bad. All right, bet. I'm gonna rock with that one. What's good, welcome back to my page. My name is Nathaniel W. James, AKA Nate Plays Keys, Finger Juice Nate, AKA Naps, AKA whatever you know me as today. I'm gonna be uh, actually doing something that I've never done before, but I wanted to do it today. So I ordered a base case. It came today and I started opening it. I'm not even gonna lie. I started opening the joint and then I was just like, actually, you know what? I'm actually very excited about, I'm very excited about this purchase because for a long time, I've been looking for the appropriate way to carry my stuff when I'm traveling. I'm the keyboardist slash bassist for Queen Nyjah. I just I have a lot of um, gear on me at any given moment. So I've been going through bags like crazy, trying to find the most condensed way of traveling. Cause sometimes we have these one off days and it's just like, I'm carrying three, four bags and I can't check everything. And you don't want to put the backing rig underneath the, the airplane and check it. It comes back mashed up, it already broke. Yeah, just trying to find like the best way to carry everything and have it on me at one particular time. As you can see here, here's some of the bags. Uh, I've been trying to go through. Um, yeah, it just it's never really worked out for me. I haven't found the bag, but I think this is probably the closest that I'm gonna get because now I'm condensing my bag, my like backpack, and my instrument in the same situation. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm trying to do. This is part of my rig that I have to carry. Uh, some strings, just in case. String cutters slash peg winder. This is the AMD switch. Let's go from my synth bass to real bass. Synth bass. This is a external screen. I'm gonna be walking with my um, Mac mini. Once we start getting on the road for like long periods of times, so I need to carry my actual computer with me. I got my laptops, this is backing backtrack rig, and the this is for my vocoder. One of my favorite parts of the show. Yeah, iPad, uh, hard drive, a couple of extra cables, and interface. I'm actually gonna replace that, but it's gonna be the same size. I'm trying to get all that in my bag, and I know I'm missing some things, like the tuner is in there. I got a bunch of stuff already in my bag. This is my old bag. It's about to be long as hell. Beat up, dingy, no real protection. I was just like, you know, it's time. You know, let's see what I got here. Got my headphones, charger, a bunch of stuff still in here. My M&Ms. Ooh. Ooh. Nice little surprise. I'm gonna have some of you right now. Uh, my other hard drive, more cables. Let's see what I got in here. Look at that. Adapter. Passport. We literally just got back. So I got a bunch of stuff. I got hella stuff. So I'm trying to condense everything now. Man. I'm trying to live a more simplistic lifestyle. Okay? Simplistic. So yeah, I don't know. Hopefully this video is not too long. I'm gonna just unpack this box and see what they got. And I'm gonna try and fit everything in there. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, I'll be back. All right, I think I'm resituated. I think I said good now. So, like I said, I'm gonna do this unboxing. I'm gonna check out this uh, base case. I'm gonna check out this base case, and I'm gonna see if uh, it can fit all my stuff. And let's just get into it. I'm not gonna waste much time. Come on. All right, comes in a nice bag, you know, nothing special. 
right? So, there she is. Is this the dagger? why the reason why I got this bag so let me see this angle here yeah, maybe it'll be better if I talk to this camera let me see okay hopefully you can sell here now the reason why I got this bag the reason why I got this bag is because it has ample pockets now originally the whole motivation for me getting this bag or getting a bigger bag with a lot of pockets was I was really trying to fit my novation in my base case because I didn't want to carry it um, I didn't want to carry it by itself and I love this keyboard so much I mean novation I love you I love this keyboard it's lightweight um, it sounds amazing it's been doing what I needed to do and I just wanted it to be, I wanted it to be within my cases where I didn't have to carry it um, in my suitcase or as a whole nother um, carry-on bag. I just wanted it to be part of my cases, but it doesn't look like it's gonna fit in here. So let me go back over to you. Ah, such a sad day. Ah, this is not gonna, not even close. Okay. So, because, yeah, I don't want to damage it either. So, once again, base station, gonna have to carry as a, either as a carry-on or pack in my bag, all, you know, protected and whatnot. Womp womp, then see if it can fit in the front. No, it probably can. You saw you guys saw that, right? Not even close. close one. Anyway, there's one time. There's one yours. All right, that's cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check out all these pockets and uh, see what I can fit in all the pockets and just go from there. Just freaking start stuffing stuff in and get as much as I can get in there. Let's check it out first, actually. So right off the bat, top pocket way bigger than the pocket that I had. This one's deeper, but this one's a lot longer. So I think that'll be more beneficial because I didn't have a lot of thick things to put in there. It's like cards and a lot of my passport and stuff like that. So right off the bat, I see that there's a little slot here for my passport. I'm loving that already. Let's check out the bigger pocket in the bottom. So this is a great size pocket. It has a great pocket for the bottom for my laptop. I'm loving these pockets, man. I'm loving these pockets. All right, and then obviously I do love this, even though it doesn't fit the um, my um, my novation. I know I could fit something else in there. Worst case scenario, it's gonna have to be one of my bigger laptops. Maybe even got a pouch down here. Ooh, nice. Has a little stretchy joint. Oh man, these guys, honestly, they're doing really good right now in the pocket game. So, I think I'm gonna start putting some things in, man. I'm just gonna jump in. I don't know why I'm closing the pockets. All right, there you go. All right, we're back. So the first pocket that I wanted to start with was the, um, the laptop pocket. So that's this one right here, right? So it looks amazing. I've already tried to fit my laptop in with the, the case, but uh, it doesn't fit. And this is a standard MacBook Pro. This is the newest one. Um, so it's fairly thin. And uh, I'm gonna try and put it in there so that you can see it. So right off the bat, I'm not really happy about this. Um, that is super tight. 
it's super snug and it doesn't actually go all the way down so I can't close sorry I can't close the flat so that would have to be open the whole time not a deal breaker that's not the worst thing in the world but I would like to you know have a little more protection yeah actually that's a deal breaker I don't like it because I, I want to actually keep it in my case so to take out like why would they make that laptop like what laptop is fitting in there i don't understand it's an ipad <laughs> <laughs> let's try this again let me start with the appropriate freaking <laughs> that's embarrassing so, laptop, I mean iPad, fits perfectly. All right. So, uh, watch out, this is my first video. So, I'm assuming this is the actual laptop. Oh, so, uh, let me, I'm gonna put the laptop back in the case. All right. Like a glove, same thing, pops out a little bit, but I could I could keep it in the case. So that's big. That's good for me. Um only thing is I got two laptops. So second laptop. And not. Man. Oh yeah, we're doing real good right now. Both my laptops in that pocket. Bam. Okay, I'm happy right now. Still zips up comfortably. No stress, no mess. So let's move on to these other pockets. So I'm gonna start moving a little faster now. And I'm doing this because I was looking online for a long time for like a a bag for my current situation and I could not find one and a guy did a review on this bag but he was only carrying his base he didn't have like anything to carry with it so I just thought I would pick up the bag and see how I like it and just yeah I forgot to show you guys how I like it and so far I'm like 50 50 right now but I'm like super early on him so let's give it a sec B switch might have to be up top. That's that for this pocket. Alright, you can see it's already got some of the scenes. I might switch that out. It'd be nice if I could keep that on here, but like, I don't want to mess up the, uh, the laptops. I still got the big guy at the back, so maybe it is that I put the, um, the laptops in the back. You know? Then if I check it, I need everything closed. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we really do force you to check these bags, and it's just like that's probably the reason why I got a really strong protective one. So you know what I mean? So okay, so top pocket tapped out. Middle pocket pretty tapped out because I don't want to really stuff anything in there and mess up the zipper. Front pocket, you're done. And that leaves us with one pocket in the front. Oh, I forgot about two. We got a pocket right here in the back. Oh man, look at that. It's like for, what is it? Phone, pen. I'm loving that right there. I love pockets. I love pockets. I carry a lot of stuff now. I really do love pockets. All right. Um, so let me see what I can get in here. Extra strings, you never know. That fit nicely. I just bought this guy. It's like an unboxing in an unboxing. Cool. So it's just like, yeah, uh, helps you restring your 
guitar is super fast. big part of why I like this back pocket is because you can put literally everything in here. You know when you're going through TSA Pre, it's a headache. You can get as much in your bag as possible. Then you're good. You put everything in there and you put it up on the conveyor, you walk through nothing in your pocket. It's beautiful, it goes in. So, um, a couple chargers. In there. Shoot. Now this was a bit of a stretch. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I know. So external screen, 13 inch, and my Mac Mini. This is where I do obviously all my heavy duty work. And we are actually not gonna be able to fit this. So remember, the whole reason why I'm doing this is just so I can see how much I can get in here to have one carry-on that houses everything that I got. Everything. It'll be heavy on my back, but I'd rather that than carry multiple bags. And I might have to sacrifice something. See that? That's what I wanted to avoid. That's terrible. I know most of you guys are like, um, carry backpack. It's not that serious. It is that serious. Tucked it all the way in the bottom, and it's not so bad, man. It's really not so bad. So, uh, honestly, I think that's almost it. But, Nate, why are you getting so much stuff? Because I like to work on the road, okay? I like to do my stuff while I'm on the road, or clean, or with whoever, and if I can carry it all in one place, I won't do it, all right? Is that cool? Is that fine? Oh, so... Y'all are not gonna believe this is crazy! Look at that. Bam! Guys, that just, that just literally took this bag from like, from like 70 to a solid 90. That was clutch. I didn't even use the big pocket in the back. This is crazy. I didn't even use this pocket right here. I didn't even use that pocket. This is lit. All right. Now, con, this bag is already heavy and I haven't even put the base in it. So, Look at the inside. Now, I do love the fact that it has the neck protector. Um, old case never had that, so I was kind of like riding dirty. Got a neck protector, so I'm gonna throw this in there. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. area you guys may have done it man you guys have may have made the perfect case suitable for my situation minus the novation that's a stretch though like not being able to do that that's that's perfect i did have to sacrifice um my second laptop so i'm gonna either have to try and like refundangle it or maybe i'll slip it into this pocket right here let me just kind of 
pray that I never have to check my bag. But um, I'm about to put this on my back and see what it feels like to wear. It's probably about like 70 pounds. I swear to God, it's a lot of stuff on there right now. Um, and try out these friggin' like, let me show you. So these rubber joints are probably gonna be lifesavers right now because this bag is about to be heavy on my back. It's about to be really heavy, but that's all right. I knew what it was going into this. All right, let me pull it up so you guys can get the That feels so good on my back. That is crazy. Whatever these these things are, they are doing the job. Oh man. Okay. So I think that's it, man. I think I'm gonna end. I'm trying to sit down every base way, you know. I'm trying to sit down with the case on. Okay. On that note, I think I'm gonna end this uh this box opening slash whatever the hell you want to call it. It's your boy, Nathaniel W. James, aka In Place Keys, aka Finger Juice Nate, aka Naps, aka The Garden. Signing off, man. Peace. Little fingers in the air. Yeah.